Happy New Year, David. Happy New Year, Happy New- and welcome to the <laughs> first episode of Futurecast. But it's it's a, it's a new type of episode. This is gonna be a mini sode. Wait, I thought we were doing a big long episode. I have so much prepared. No, no, no. This is a mini sode. Now we're gonna be releasing these mini mini sodes weekly, rather than what we've been doing with our full episodes, where we release those monthly. So that what? way, if you you know, what hap- if you miss our voices, huh? but, what, huh? but what happens to the big episodes? Are we not doing those anymore? Big episodes are still gonna be coming out monthly. Ah. those are still coming. And honestly, for like the first few months of 2020, I, we're releasing like a lot of episodes in these first few months. So you should not get, you should not. Miss her voices. Whoa, 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 too much. David! This is all too much. I don't even follow this a little bit. What the fuck is a podcast? <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, bitch. <laughs> um, and so these these mini shows are gonna cover. Typically, they're probably gonna be like top fives from each of us, but we also might just talk about a single movie if we want to cross off a movie on our backlogs. Yeah. If we can find some, you know, connection there, and really just whatever the fuck we want to talk about, because it's our podcast and we want to talk. <laughs> what are we talking about today? <laughs> today we are gonna be covering off on the best trailers and movie posters from 2019. So those are gonna be two individual top fives. We're probably gonna kick it off with. Posters first, and then end it off with trailers. Sick. This yeah, is so, so Ethan, cool, David. Do you wanna, this is so cool. The way we're going to do it is Ethan's going to start with his number five, and then we're going to trade one apiece until we get to each of our number one. So, Ethan, okay. take it away. Number five is the tra- uh, the poster for Birds of Passage. Fantastic poster. This made my shortlist. Oh, I have not seen the movie yet. And that there's a oh, couple yeah. of these a couple things that I have not seen the I have not seen the movie that they're for both for trailers and for posters and I think that kind of tells you how good the marketing is when I like it regardless of the actual film when the poster and mo- trailer are so good that it doesn't make me actually see the movie now that's what we call <laughs> unsuccessful marketing all right what's your number five <laughs> um hey my- check, check guys people I'm sorry. listening to this right now. Check the description. You're going to be able to look at all of our uh, posters that we liked, as well as you'll be able to see the links for all the trailers that we mentioned. Yeah. That way you can follow along and have a grand old time with your favorite voice. My number five is is both the uh, both posters for us. The one with the scissors in the hand, and then also the one with Lapita removing the mask. Interesting. I think both of these posters are like... The, obviously, the scissors one is a little bit more subtle, where right. it, it kind of alludes to what's going to happen. And I remember when the when we first got the poster, I was like, "Damn, this looks so cool! I can't wait!" Yeah. And then when you see the when you actually see the movie, the mask one is a lot more, uh, you know, telling of what the movie's actually about. And I thought it was re- it's really cool. Like a mo- it's a moody poster, you know? Heck yeah! Uh, what's your number? My four? number four is Guava Island. Which is a, a, a like a forty minute short film from Childish Gambino, and I really really like this poster a lot. It's like four music videos that are shoved into a movie to kind of try to make sense of a movie. But the yeah. poster looks sick as hell. Am I right? <laughs> my number four <laughs> is ooh. My number four is the main poster for Parasite. Oh, that's a good poster. It's just like such a it's such an odd poster. Where if you don't know, if you haven't seen the movie, you're just staring at all these people in this backyard. We got some lakes here, mm-hmm. a beach ball here, some dude carrying a rock, the reflection of a, of a, uh, of a, a teepee, <laughs> and like a little boy. All the all the eyes are uh, blotched out, and it's just it's so, like mysterious almost. You know? Yeah, that's good. I love it. Yeah. Number three. Well, bam. This is the alt poster. Sh- is it, for is it for Shazam? Portrait of a Lady on Fire. Oh. I, here's the, th- you're going to notice a pattern when you see all of my posters next to each other that they all kind of look the same. <laughs> yeah. They all kind of look like that swooshy painting style. Yeah. But uh, this is gorgeous. They're, the texture of the paint is so fascinating. And then, like, the portrait of a lady on fire, like, that can just describe the image that you see there. Really, really well. Yeah. Um, no, really excited for this movie because it won't really come out until like early next year. Yeah, but which sucks. damn, it's a pretty poster. Uh, yeah, my number three is for a little movie called The Lighthouse. 
normally when I say a little movie, I'm I'm being facetious because but like the lighthouse is probably actually like a little movie. Like it, it takes place on one island, <laughs> it takes place with like two characters. Yeah, so like it actually is a little movie. Uh, but I love this movie. Yeah, this black is and the white first poster. poster. It's got the lighthouse in the distance. It's got the waves, and it's got you know a little mermaid tail. You know there to make some questions. Also, what I really like about the lighthouse and to add more to their marketing is they released a free poster download of the seagull mm-hmm. that you could that, print. I love that poster of just the seagull. And what's really cool about that is with Robert Edgers with his previous movie, The Witch, uh, they also had a poster of the goat. Yeah. Yes. uh, That you could also print for free. So I I like continuing that tradition of his movies having these animal-themed posters that once you see the movie, you'll probably think a little differently about the animal that's actually being portrayed on the poster. Absolutely. Um, So my number two poster of the year, David is the alt poster for the UK release. I do love the normal poster that we got, but this is the alt UK poster for In Fabric. Whoa. Isn't that a sick poster? That's uh that's that's really you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that I, means. I think I think if you look at all these posters, you will tell that me and Ethan have like a different like my, we have different styles of what we like for our posters. Yes. Um, I mean, I think that's very obvious when looking at all these yeah, lined up. I like ones that tell you that that are visually striking, but also for a lot of the movies, once you see them, are like, wow, that's a really good poster to get that mood. My number two is what I would probably say is like the most visually beautiful poster. And this is a poster that made me want to see the movie. I didn't even see the trailer. I had no idea what this movie was about. I saw the poster and I thought, I have to see this movie. And that is Monos. It's got this like beautiful yeah. blue, like sky cloudy distance with a person on a horse. And like, I don't, you don't know what this movie's gonna be about, but this fuck it, like just this and how strikingly gorgeous it is. I was like, I have to see this. And also, this shot in the movie is amazing. It looks so good. Um, yeah, I really like this poster. I, this is the kind of thing where I could hang this up for, you know, a few years and be happy with it on my wall. Uh, my number one poster of the year, David. Are we gonna have to, are we gonna have to see number one? My number one is Parasite. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, we're not gonna have to see number one. Um, wow. Yeah, mine is. I chose the actual Korean version. Um, oh, wow. But like that, cool. different families are are color coordinated with the blocking yeah. of the eyes, and that there's just so much going on, and it's such a strange composition. Um, but everything kind of lines up with the house as well. And the house is a character in its own right, as are the people there. And there's just so much going on without telling you totally. anything. That it's just such a... It's fa- a great, and it's it, a great poster. It's one that gets better when you watch the movie. Um, yeah. God, it's so good. It's such a good poster. It's a really good poster. My number one, though, is a movie that... Poster after poster, and they released so many different posters for this movie. Mm-hmm. And the thing was, is every single poster that got released was fucking amazing. And, like, not what I would expect from this, like, big superhero movie. And that is the Joker. Like, Joker's posters ah, yeah. were so yeah. fucking good. Every single one. Like, and they released, I think, probably just just below 10 official posters for the movie. Each one is better than... Almost every other. So your poster list is just here. all of the Joker posters. <laughs> it's just all the Joker posters. I don't even. I I need your your top five to do uh, all all the posters. You're gonna take mine. Like, get rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Guava Island. Um, hey, I like that poster a lot though. Yeah, so much so it's your number four. Um, <laughs> like I said, David, there's there's two on here that I haven't even seen the movies, and I really enjoyed the poster. That's very true. That's true. Um. I just really like the Joker posters. Yeah, they're really And good. I also think, like, the, the, the Joker character just, like, shoots really well. Like, I think it looked, like, the Joker being a character, just, he always looks pretty fucking cool. Yeah. Um, so that is our top five movie posters. Hell yeah. Should we get into so let's, those, uh, uh, Tuelas? Let's jump straight into the trailers. What's your number five Ethan? trailer? My number five trailer is, is the Netflix original... Marriage Story. Mm. I really like the way that this trailer sets up uh, the opening of the movie where we get, like, 
both both characters talking about the other person and you're like oh my gosh it's like it's it's a love story and then it cuts directly into them being in the courtroom and you're like it's not and it, the, i think just like both scarlett johansson and adam driver's voice works so well during that like their little, little like letter reading about the other person mm -hmm. and it just works so well and it like it makes you it in in like two and a half minutes it makes you feel like you know that character so well yeah. you know and I also think that the fact that the movie also released both of those snippets a little bit longer as their own individual trailers really uh, works well if you see that main trailer where they're both talking and you're like, I want a little bit more, and you can jump into each of those smaller individual trailers. Yeah. I think that works really well. Uh, What's number, number five? five is Honey Boy, A24 film. Um, oh, shit. It starts off where you just see uh, Lucas Hedges standing there uh, just looking at the camera. And he just says, no, mm -hmm. no, no. And then gets flung back. And there's explosions. And then you hear someone yell, cut. And then there's just a clapboard that says 2005. Yeah. Um, and then the rest of it is just, like, these moments from, like, the iconography of Shia LaBeouf's life and his career. Uh, and it's, it, I don't know. It's such a, a really bold trailer uh, that totally. I, just, I really liked. I really liked that trailer a lot. Totally. I love that trailer. Mm -hmm. um, my number four is Joker. Mm. I think that this trailer sets the mood. And like coming off of what we've seen with previous DC movies, it really needed to to prepare audiences for this like extreme like mood change and atmosphere change for what we are going to be seeing from a superhero movie. Because we really haven't seen anything like this sense like maybe logan but that was even way different you know right. but but like that directional change from like previous movies of of the ilk and just seeing joaquin in this trailer and just seeing all the different shots it looked fucking gorgeous the mood was great joaquin looked amazing also the little uh character or the character screen test for joaquin yeah where he's is fucking amazing it's probably like one of my most watched things from 2019 yeah that's a good one uh, yeah, and they also just released the full length of that, uh, of the screen test, which is also phenomenal. Um, number four, we're looking at a, a trailer that really had to get the tone of this right in order to hook people in, but not give much away, and that is El Camino, a Breaking Bad story. Mm, um, yes. This, it, it sets up the mood and the atmosphere of the film so well, and that's kind of hard to do when you're when it, it's such a well-known like high profile um ip you know yeah. and being able to not tell you anything is impressive I, I doing i think doing moody trailers is easy when it's some when it's more removed but when mm -hmm. it's supposed to be like real and gritty I think it's hard to do those moody trailers, you know? Uh, and I think this one pulled it off really well. And that fucking song, I have not been able to stop listening. I get ha, ha, ha. I get low. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's that a great the way choice. these things go. My number three <laughs> is a trailer that had a full arc within the trailer okay and that was the trailer for richard jewel mm. which i know you just call it a rip off of the gone girl trailer which is also a great trailer but i think this trailer it just like the the questioning and like the rapidness of like making the making the viewer there of the trailer there is a bomb in centennial like, park you haven't seen the movie there um, is a bomb viewer, in though, centennial park no that's the trailer you have 30 minutes you have, you have 30, 30 minutes. minutes. You forgot you, you forgot like half of the words. It's okay. It's okay. There is a bomb um, in Centennial Park. You have 30 minutes. It is a good trailer. That it is, is not, a good trailer. It, uh, it's a very good trailer. And it 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 changes the way I'm that the viewer too. looks at R R Richard Jewell. I'm law enforcement too. <laughs> uh, I just love this trailer. Yeah, I, yeah, like I don't know. I probably saw it too many times in theaters. But the first few times I saw it, I was like, I don't even know if I want to like see this, but I want to see it just because of the fucking trailer. There are movies that I'm it. like, I kind of don't want to watch the movie because I think it'll ruin the trailer for me. That happened. 
<laughs> with the accountant. <laughs> Do you remember that? Oh. I loved that yeah. trailer, and then the movie, uh, I did see it, so that sucked. I own it. Uh, number three, The Lighthouse. Uh, I'm going with the first one that kind of has this haunting, uh, uh, <laughs> why just spill your beans, kind of echoing throughout it. Um, it just, it sets up, and, and you also have like the the... These crashing waves mixing in with this sea shanty um, to kind of give you a, a sense of the cabin fever and madness that's going on. Um, it's really good. I don't yeah. know. There's not a lot of trailers that I watch and I'm like, ah, I can taste salt water. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was hard to leave Lighthouse off the list for me. Like, I definitely had it on the list at one point. Mm-hmm. What's your number three? My number three was Richard Jewell, which oh, we are yeah, well, hey, what's your number paying two? attention to our list. Quick. My number two is... <laughs> let, me, let me do another run-up. <laughs> nope, I, I like hey. when you fuck things up, honestly. Uh, so my number Rich. two, not my number three, Ethan, Shit. is... what's your number two? <laughs> it, <laughs> is 1917. Hmm. Which is has not come out yet, but mm-hmm. very excited. And the trailer sets up the story, like the premise behind the story, but also shows you, like some of the most, like spectacular, se- spectacularly shot war scenes that I feel like I've ever seen. And it's only in a trailer. And knowing that the movie is shot in one take, like knowing that that shot that we're seeing in the trailer is going to be extended, and like not cut from, is ju- it's just so exciting. Like the plane crash, the beat, like the the field running with the bombs going mm-hmm. off. It's just insane. All the stuff in the trenches looks so good. And I'm just really fucking excited for it. And, like, I'm kind of back and forth between if I like that song uh, that cuts in, like, halfway through it. And I think I really like it. I think I'm really fucking excited, honestly. Yeah, no, it's I love good. that fucking That's a trailer. trailer. My number two yeah. uh, is two. There's two of them. Uh, you already mm-hmm. mentioned it, but these are the teaser trailers for Marriage Story. Um, what I love about Nicole and what I love about Charlie are the two oh, yeah. different. I like both. I like these separate more than I like the normal trailer. Um, because I think it gives you a better, like the fact that you can watch both of them and see us the same scene with a completely yeah, a different, different perspective yeah. on it because you are watching mm-hmm. a different person's perspective, I think introduces yeah. the movie so well. Yeah. Totally. Um, yeah, it's it's gorgeous. Now it's time for the number, number one. one. My number one movie trailer of 2019 is Parasite. Yeah, that's a good one. I fucking love this trailer. Uh, this trailer reveals almost nothing about the actual plot, I feel like, of the story. Mm-hmm. But it makes me want to know everything. You know, Absolutely. It, it it shows you enough. And even like the, the way that the text on the screen on uh, during the trailer works is... It's fucking really cool. It's almost cool. Like, disorienting. Like, it, like, f- yeah, where it like switches behind it. Also, getting the little song jingle in the trailer Jessica, is fucking Anna phenomenal Jane. because it's a great little jingle. Um, Chicago, and it just... I, I it, It's the trailer that when I saw it, I thought, I have to see this. I want to know nothing about the movie and I want to just... I want to be experiencing this movie right now. Right now. Absolutely. Um, there is a trailer. My number one trailer... Is so wild um, that I just need you to watch it <laughs> real quick for me. It's called The Wild Goose Lake. <laughs> that is a... Uh... It's a fucking wild trailer, huh? That really is. Has that come out I yet? don't know. I don't think so. I think that one just premiered in, uh, in China. Holy shit. Um, it's... So baffling because I have no idea what it's about. They have another trailer that actually tells you what it's about, and that trailer kind of (laughs) sucks. But this one is so vibrant and dark and mysterious and uh, sexy. It's like, (laughs) I don't know. It's such a, oh, and the music choice. Oh, my God. It's really good. (laughs) It's it's like two completely different styles. <laughs> yeah, back to back. Joining in the middle. Yeah. Where I feel like it shouldn't it's work. Whiplash. But it works you so... get whiplash from it. 
in the best yeah, way possible. That's crazy. I like that. That's a good Isn't that like... fucking sick, David? <laughs> yeah. The only reason I wanted to do a marketing mini episode was to have you watch that trailer. To... <laughs> you could have just texted it to me. <laughs> Wait. I thought the only way we communicated was through the podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. And no, I'll talk to you, like, in, I don't know, a, a week, week or so. <laughs> <laughs> That's, yeah, that's a mini episode. We don't really, I don't think we would, we'll really do like a whole, hey, check out all these links and all this stuff and give us reviews. No, 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 just, not I think it's shows. just like, no, no. see you around. Yeah. See ya. See you next what week. What are we doing next week? Next week is going to be our top five best picture winners. Wow. Sick. So those are movies that won best picture at the Oscars and our. Our, our top I'm five. talking Green Book, Green Book, Green Book, Green Book, Green Book. That's all five of them. Romeo and Juliet. Ooh, Shakespeare and Love. <laughs> uh, uh, Crash. Yeah. <laughs> great, great uh, I bet we're going to make these goofs again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have to bottom, reuse the really good ones. Bottom of the barrel. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see ya next week. Um, yeah. <laughs> You were, like, raised to an energy, and then you just kind of let it sit there. Um, I'll, we'll see you all next time.